Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video and we are in Automobilista 2. It's been a little while since I've been on this sim um, as unfortunately the online mode isn't quite as uh, invigorating as iRacing but this sim has the best VR support out there um, out of them all. Uh, that is that is my honest opinion. People may disagree but it's just it is so well optimized and that's partly due to the fact of that they are using the Slightly Mad Studios game engine that was used in the Project Cars games. Of course, that had great VR support as well. And they've just, I don't know if they've done anything to it. It seems like they have, they've optimized it some more. And it's just brilliant in, in all on all tracks, in all weathers. And the reason we are on this sim today is because I want a little bit of a break from iRacing and I am a sucker for a hot lap. Now, while this sim doesn't have the best online experience, as I said, it is great to jump into every now and then and just have some fun. And today's video is no different because what we are doing is we are taking the Formula Ultimate, which is technically the latest Formula One car uh, with the halo and all, on the Nordschleife or more aptly around the Nordschleife. And we are going to hot lap and we are going to try and make our way up the leaderboard and see how far up we can get. Now, I've run a couple of laps around here already, um, just out of fun, uh, very messy laps, to be perfectly honest. And I am currently sitting 17th in the world leaderboard. So can I get first? I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm not that good. Uh, sub five minute time is very good. But if I can get anywhere around the five minute time, I'll, I'll be very happy. Top 10 is my aim. So today is all about hot lapping. And plus, who doesn't want to see a Formula One car, modern Formula One car around the Nautch Life in VR? I know I do. <laughs> so lo and behold, let's have a look at a few of attempts and see if we can make our way up the leaderboard, see how high up we can get. So remember to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Feel free to join the Discord that is in the link in the description below. And enjoy. So of course, the Nautch Life wouldn't be without its failed attempts being such a tight track and crashes galore. But I didn't expect one of my attempts to go like this. I was so, so close, on for a good time. And yeah, engine failure. So close. Oh, mate, got to be kidding me. But we did get there in the end. We had a good attempt, and lo and behold, here it is. Let's see how we do. Where on the leaderboard can we get up to? All right. Let's do this. safely navigated through there. Flat out. Well, there's just many flat sections around this track. This car is just phenomenal around here. Bit of a lock up back there, I think, but it was alright. Oh, I love this section here. Triple right handers, flat out all the way through, a bit wide.
into the slowest corner on the track, cooking it up there is so good. bumpy back through there, you don't realise how bumpy this track is until you drive an F1 car around it. And then another long flat out section up the hill. What hill this is, keeping it in 7th. I don't want to be in 8th, otherwise we'll lose speed. Careful with that talk, Scott. <laughs> Into the carousel, which I hate. I hate in any car, let alone an F1 car. Definitely not made to. <laughs> Definitely weren't made with F1 cars in mind. These next few corners just go past you so quickly, ain't got time to think. Second carousel, more of a mini one. Then down the back straight where we can actually relax and breathe. Over 300 kilometers an hour. Don't know what that is in miles per hour. It's fast though. Cross the line. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? 5.04 That's a top 10 surely I'm proud, I'm proud of that Very, very proud of that I will probably spend a lot more time trying to get under the 5 seconds uh, 5 minutes, I reckon there's 4 seconds to be made up there, easy Easy well, I say easy. <laughs> but, yeah. This thing is an absolute beast around here. And if you want an example of why Formula One doesn't race around the Nautch Life, there you go, because it's just too damn quick for it. There'll be so many crashes. But... Yeah, let's go and see where we actually finished. I didn't expect myself to be a 5.04. I didn't think I'd, to be honest, get anywhere near kind of a, a five minute time. But let's go have a look. So there we go, guys. Look, P6, just outside top five. Well, I say just outside, good two seconds away. But there was a few mistakes in there, a couple of uh, worrying moments with oversteer. But if I sorted those out, then I probably could have got top five. I, I may give it another go in the future, but I will take that. I have gone from 17th to 6th. I mean, 
wow, that is just a big, big step up. 11 places gained and what a great time I had going for it. So I think I'm definitely going to be doing some more uh, moving forwards. Uh, maybe not in this car, but definitely uh, different Formula cars and just other cars in general. I love the Nauks Life. Um, it's a track that I just... It's so rewarding when you get it right because um, it's just so long and there's just so many different corners. Uh, but yeah, what great fun that was taking an F1 car, a modern day F1 car round the Nauks life. You don't get that in F1 2020, do you? <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you'd like to see in the future, uh, more or different cars. In, uh, in VR around the Nauks life. I might make it a series moving forward. So yeah, hit me up in the comments below, hit that like button, and I'll see you for the next one.